Welcome back to another Sniper Whip Eater thing. Yay. <laughs> Yay. I'm still wearing Atlas. So, uh, Alpha Bus has sent us an Alpha Box <laughs> of food. Yes, he has. <laughs> yes, he has. And we will... Wib is going to eat the Pilsnikov at a later date and give us an update on how those are. Okay, the first things are... Um, I don't know, but they're a little... Um, they came to us a little bit smushed. A little bit smushed and a little bit greasy. They may have... They may have infected some of the rest of the box, so we're going to get these out of the way uh, now. Do you want to maybe one of us take a bite and then another take a bite? Because they seem big and squishy. These look like lamingtons, which is an Australian's delicacy. <laughs> I know what you mean, actually. Mm. Yeah, they look... Uh... They're like chocolatey sponge, maybe, with coconut. Yeah, I'm going to take a bite. Okay. Ooh. Careful, Ooh. Man. That's a lot softer than I was thinking. Mm. Like, it, it crumbles almost. That has quite an odd texture. Hmm. I was expecting it to be far more, um, like thick and like uh, thick and starchy. I thought but... it would. Uh, yeah, I, th mm. I thought it would probably be a bit more like a muffin. But yeah, that kind no, of no. It's kind of like like. Oh, I've had there's like little chocolate balls you can make where it's like loads of like biscuit bits and coconut. Like pieces, and it's like that. That's very mm. interesting. It's very flaky, almost. Yeah. Um, and that subtle hint of coffee. Let us know in in the comments what that actually is. Yeah, because uh, that's I'm intrigued actually to know. kind of nice. I do mm. actually quite like that. I go for Bila. What are those? I don't know. They do kind of look like milky kind of candies, like gummies almost. Yeah, you got like milk flavored gummies. Mm. It's a tradition. Apparently. Since 1953. So okay. we have to have some. Oh, yeah, yeah. We yes. have to. It's the law. Otherwise, if... the Swedish like police will come and kill us. They will. They will. He's in all the little cars. Oh, yeah. And that bip bip. There's a super cute little voice. <laughs> I'm going to eat the one. Okay. Now, they're kind of like foam candies. Yeah. Um, More I... like... I don't know if these exist elsewhere, but they kind of remind me a little bit of the little milk bottles. Like the, the little hard... foamy ones. Yeah, the little foamy milk bottles. Yeah, they're like, like foamy kind of candy. Um, the harder version of those, because some of those mm. can be really soft. Because yeah, I don't like the soft ones, but I do like these ones. Mm. I'm going to eat a couple more, because of course I am. I'm going to try some of the colours. I think, it's just I, think very... I got a banana flavour one. That's ruined my fucking day, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, they are, they are different flavours. Mm. Okay. I assume they'd all be the same, because like, there's... Oh, I'll show them off. There's um. There's pink, green, and white ones. There's uh, yeah, pink, green, and white. Not that in under this light you can probably tell that difference particularly no. easily, but mm. no, those are those are quite good. Mm. Interesting. It's strange. Like yeah, yeah, got some strange flavors in there, but I do like them. Yeah, they are fun. And also they're tiny cars, which they're is tiny adorable. Ones, which is adorable. Mm. Tutti frutti originals. Ooh, more gummies. More gummies. These just look like standard kind of fruit flavor. They do have English on there, like strawberry and raspberry, lemon, tutti frutti, and pear. Okay. Don't get many pear flavored like sweets over mm. here. No, actually. I'm gonna eat one of these. Okay. Pick one. Um, they just smell like one of those as well. Fun gummy candy. So. But yeah, just just little gummy candies. Mm. Oh my Ooh, god, this yep. is so good. They're really soft. Mm. I, was, I was expecting them to be a bit more, a bit harder. But... I don't like the really hard to chew, like, kind of gummy candies. I like the ones that are a bit stiff, and then they, they just go to, like, super squidgy when you chew them. And these mm. exactly do that. They taste a lot more actually fruity. They're gelatin-free as well, which is kind of cool. Oh, okay. But yeah, they're, they're a lot more actually fruity than a lot of, a lot of um, mm. gummies, because you know a lot of them are really just sugar with, like... Yeah. Well, I want to try pear. Yeah, I'm trying those as well. No, mm. those are super good. I'm going to have one more. <laughs> no, those are good. Mm, those are very tasty. Cheese crunches. Now, these look a little bit like... In Australia, you have these things that look exactly the same, and they're called twisties, and you get them in cheese and chicken flavour. Mm. Re like respectively and I love them but these are flaming hot flavour <laughs> <sighs> and you're not you're not a fan of the flaming hot no uh, hey who knows maybe maybe it might not be um, have that much of a kick to it I will say it does smell like they actually use cheese yeah yeah it does smell more authentically cheese than mm. these things often do okay Although that might oh, yeah. just be because the, the kind of cheese flavoured things I'm more used to are things like quavers, which barely taste of anything, let alone cheese. The thing is, you don't like cheese and you actively eat quavers. Yeah. 
Okay, so flaming hot cheese crunches. Mm. These are so good, <laughs> but they're so spicy. Oh, oh no, they're horrible. Okay. Ah. Mm. Okay, that's a bit hotter than it first started out as. <laughs> they're so good though. <laughs> they're, they're all right. They're all right. But I know, I know that you like the, the you know the non hot versions of things like that, so I can see why you are putting yourself through this horror. <laughs> it's so horrible, but it's so good. But no, those are very good. But uh, spice. <laughs> Have, have people not time. learned? That's something we can't deal with. I think that's exactly why people... Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's the thing. People send us stuff because they want, want us to be horrified. Speaking of which, you should get that thing um, that we're not going to be eating. We've tried these before in our uh, Finnish Snacks video. Mm -hmm. We tried these, so I, we'll just put on screen now our expressions when we tried them last time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> not doing that again. These are like... Lozenges, but they they seem to say that they're cactus flavor, which mm. I am. Either that, or they've, they've literally just filled it full of fucking spikes. I don't believe they're just going to be full of cactus spikes. Well, I'm hoping not. I think this but... may be uh, maybe alluding to Alpha's affinity to cactuses. But yeah, those are interesting. They're they look red. like tiny little dog nipples. <laughs> 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 yeah, dog nipples. That's what they are. They're little dog nipples. Yeah. Do you want to put these dog nipples in our mouths? Don't say it like that, but yeah. Well, you start it. Ah. Ah. There's a lot of ah. aniseed in there. Yeah. Mm. That's... I, my teeth aren't doing anything to it. It's just there. This is in my mouth now. This dog nipple has taken residence. <laughs> Alpha the fuck, <laughs> dude? I keep going, expecting it to change. I think it is actually mellowing out and becoming a little sweeter. That's Stockholm Syndrome for your mouth. Yeah, yeah. I think I'd rather just eat a fucking cactus. I think I'd rather eat a dog nipple. Here's something that might brighten you up. Ballerina Original. Oh. These look quite cute. Uh, with creamy ballerina nougat. Oh. Ooh, fancy. Is that so what happens when you crack a ballerina open? That comes out. Let's just open these up, shall we? Okay. Oh my goodness, the heat has not served us well. Oh, they have been melted a bit. Oh, they smell kind of nice though. Okay. So ignore the part where the chocolate has melted, melted everywhere and flowed everywhere because that looks a little bit... Mm. <sighs> Those fucking cactus um, things. But yeah, it's got like, uh, like one... two different kinds of biscuit like hmm. wedged together with, I presume, a kind of chocolatey thing. Did I just knock your antlers? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. But yeah, okay. I am so on board with one of these. All right. Mm. 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 There's some nuts in there. Nougat. Mm. Nuts? Not sure. Hmm. I guess it's the, um, the stuff in the middle is a little nutty. It's like a little, a little nutella -y. But way better because mm. Nutella sucks. It's hard to tell. I think my taste buds have been wrecked by those goddamn cactus dog nipple still... things. <laughs> Stop calling them dog nipple things. You, you start, eh? I didn't mean to. Mm. Ah. They're all right. But in spite of the cactus dog nipples, these are quite nice. Mm. Mm. Okay, I can get behind this. I, I can, can definitely get behind ballerinas. this. Ballerinas. We're going to get to Kex. Kex. Chocolade. Which is, it just looks like a nice chocolate wafer. Oh, oh no! Oh, Britain's happened to it. Oh, look! It's like a big long wafer boy. Oh, the whole thing's one. It's like a whole big wafer boy. Okay. Oh my god, that's fun. So it's like a big chocolate covered wafer. Just like me. You are not a big <laughs> chocolate covered wafer. Oh, this. Oh, oh no! Actually, I think they are individual. They just all melted together. Oh, dang! <laughs> Damn you, British summer, foiling us once again. This is fine. Oh, God, it's everywhere. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, but... Um, this is our life now. There's what we could salvage. <laughs> it's just it's a little chalky wafer boy. Hmm. Looks quite nice. I'm going to have a bite. Ooh. Mm. That is super wafery. I do like There's the... There's so um... many different layers of wafer. That is really nice. Again, there's a hint of, like... Kind of nuts in there, I think. You tend to get a bit, a bit of a nutty taste, mm. even if, I guess to be fair, chocolate often has a nutty taste. Yeah. 
Um, no, that's that's like super tasty. That's really nice. I do really appreciate how the further east you go in Europe, and like you don't have to go that east mm. in Europe, the amount of wafers that start appearing mm. like increases dramatically. Absolutely. So there's a couple of things left. Mm. Um, I thought for next we go with plop, plop, <laughs> plop, salty caramel plop, salty caramel plop. Mmm. 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 Plop. Good. Good. I, I'm not a massive fan of salted caramel. I'm okay with it. I actually quite like it. I don't mind it, but I mean, I'm I just think, like... Um, I think the... Uh, the I li- I'd rather eat salt on its own. Well, again, yeah. That's me. Oh, you get little bars of plop. <laughs> Tiny little bars of plop. That's what you get. Cute little bars. Would you like to snap one off? I will snap off a cube of plop. Ooh, 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 oh, oh, oh. Oh, he gooey. It's a gooey caramel. Yeah. It's a gooey there caramel. Go. Just, it's... Yeah. It smells like salted caramel. Mm. How's your plop? Salty. They're fucking five years old, man. <laughs> they really are. But no, that, that's alright. You like that? You that's recommend right. plop? I can definitely recommend having a plop. <sighs> so, this is the last thing we've got here. You want to have any guess at what this is? Well, like a like say, what would you think? Maybe Primula, you got the Kinder Child here. I believe we said in the video where we opened all the stuff from the PO box. Oh, that's some kind of cream cheese. That's what I thought until I read it. Now I can speak a little bit of Swedish. This basically on the side says that it is it is registered as farming from sustainable fish. So, so this is fucking fish paste. <laughs> I brought some crackers, cracker bread. So I have whole meals, all right, and that's, for that's our it. fish paste with yeah. I think has tomato puree in it. I'm slightly horrified by. I am terrified of what this is going to be. Because, yeah. I assume that's like original from 1954, so this was. So presu- it's an old. It was. Uh, this was originally uh, produced in the same disaster that produced Godzilla, presumably, because <laughs> um, that was 1954. Oh man! Um, you are throwing the poor Swedes under the bus, though. The poor Swedes sent us fish paste. Here is a piece of wholemeal cracker bread for you. Okay. Oh, or not. possibly like wall insulation. It's hard to tell the difference. Oh, you've broken the seal now. The pact is made. Oh! Oh no! It's a bit fishy. Oh, mate! I'm worried that this isn't refrigerated. Like, Alpha just wants us dead. Okay. <laughs> and why is this child so fucking happy? You're eating fish paste, you weirdo. I think it's, I think it's probably sensible, given uh, the various things at play, is to just put a little bit on here. Okay. Oh my god. Oh. 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 oh, it stinks. I, I, I'm going, oh, I'm going to play this for the camera, but I don't want this. I don't mm, want this. That is so stinky. Look at that. I don't want to eat it. This is the first thing that we've done where I'm like, I genuinely don't want to eat this. It's oh, not the first thing I've made, but... Mm. I'm just going to do it. Okay, me too. Nowhere near as bad as I thought it Not would be. Not as bad as... That's... Yeah, that's very seafoody. Have you ever eaten fish food? I have not. It's kind of like saltier fish food. Okay. Why have you eaten fish food? We were very poor children growing up. Okay. <laughs> the fish got better food than we did. <laughs> um, so, thank you very much, Alpha Busa, for sending us that wondrous Swedish cuisine. Yeah. Tax or Mikket? You prick. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you very much. Apart from... The yeah, obvious. The obvious. There were some very nice things in there. Yes, so thank you very much. And my biggest complaint so far about the Kapilsnikov is that the label's painted on it, so I can't frame this handsome gentleman. Yeah. 
I think Quite we should all. I think we should end the video um, gazing longingly into this strange <sighs> Swedish man's eyes, who sits residing on the hot dogs on his hot dog throne, he's... judging us all. The emperor of hot dogs, you might say. <laughs> yes, you could say, but I won't. So...